Exactly a month ago, a Palestinian terrorist carried out a vicious stabbing rampage in Yafo, Tel Aviv. And he managed to kill an American tourist and leave 12 others wounded. In the chaos, one young Israeli musician tried to subdue the attacker by hitting him over the head with his guitar. And since then, his bravery has brought together Israelis from around the country. Israeli guitar hero Yushai Montgomery is here in the studio with us today to tell his story. Thanks for coming in. It's a pleasure. So you've been hailed as Israel's guitar hero since this tragic attack. Can you tell us about what happened on that day? Yeah, it was, uh, it was evening. I was playing my guitar. My, I do a thing with a guitar and a didgeridoo. It's an Australian instrument. that uh, I, It's like a busking act. And uh, I was doing my thing. And, um, and all of a sudden, I hear people screaming. I, I didn't really understand what's, what's going on at the, like the very first uh, few seconds where, you know, it was kind of a bit of a chaos kind of vibe to the whole screaming and everything. And uh, I look up, and it's kind of, um, you know, not really clear because it was dark, and I, I couldn't really tell what's going on. All of a sudden, I see a guy with a knife running at me and trying to stab me. So, like, soon enough, I had to <laughs> snap out of it and, and do something about it. And uh, <clears throat> basically what happened, like, we had the bench, be like, uh, between each other kind of, like I was sitting on the bench and he came from behind and he tried to stab me so I jumped and he missed. And then uh, <clears throat> he, uh, he tried to come from like, there was a bit of a distance between us. So like when he came at me with a knife to try to stab me again, I hit him on the head with a guitar and uh, that, that's pretty much what happened. And it stunned him, right? Because yeah. he didn't really know what to do after that happened. Yeah, and then the whole the whole part after that was me chasing him to the point where uh, the cops show up and, and shoot him. And right, which is not exactly a normal reaction, yeah. obviously, to run after a terrorist who is armed. I mean, uh, that whole situation, there's nothing normal about it. So, I mean, I was just basically acting according to what, you know, I, I thought I had to do at that situation. It wasn't really, I wasn't really thinking <laughs> too much. There wasn't really time to do any thinking. Well, like you know, that. a lot of people hailed you as a hero in this situation mm -hmm. because you ultimately stopped him from hurting anybody else. So you wrecked your guitar after hitting this terrorist, um, but after hearing your story, Israelis from around the country kind of came together to help you replace it, right? Yeah, there was, uh, like, I think at some point where, where the story really hit the news and everything and the picture with the broken guitar and all that. So I think at, at some point, Anyone who's anyone who's a friend of mine wanted to buy me a guitar, and and, and uh, I had to start telling people that it's okay. I'm over, I'm already stacking up. It seems. I mean, I got four guitars out of the. Out of right. The whole so there's Israeli musicians that also yeah. give you guitar, right? Yeah. There was Aviv Geffen. He's an Israeli uh, uh, rock singer that um, gave me a guitar and um, took me to one of his shows to go on stage and play, which was pretty cool, and uh, stayed at a hotel and everything. But, uh, and there was also a crowdfunding page that was created, so just random people donating money so that you could get yourself a new guitar. Yeah, there was a GoFundMe um, like fundraiser going on the, on the internet uh, that was opened by a guy from the States that I actually need to meet in person and, and actually uh, Bank, I guess. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Bank it's amazing that somebody from across the world, you know, took the initiative to do that. And I mean, you're half Canadian. You're not uh, fully Israeli, but this, you know, having this type of experience, it has it made it, has it made you reconsider living in Israel, or made you appreciate the country more because of all the help that you got afterwards? Yeah, that was pretty much. I mean, it was like kind of kind of a weird welcome back. I mean, I was in Canada for for two and a half years. And then uh, coming back to Israel, like, you know, all your friends and connections and everything is kind of like not really the way it was when you left. And all of a sudden, everything just kind of comes back to, to you with a bit of a, you know, like this celebrity status to it, I guess. I don't know. It's really, it's a weird, uh, weird welcome back, like with a bit of a reality check. And... Um, but ultimately, yes. having all this, you know, positive feedback from everybody around you, it makes you feel that, good that, that you have really, the support system. You know, that was, that, that's the best part of Israel is the, the whole community aspect to it. And people really care about these kind of things. I mean, this could have happened uh, somewhere else in the world and really not, you know, made a big deal out of, you know. Absolutely. So... So, you know, you're this musician, and uh, you're an aspiring uh, musician. You, 
you know, so you say this experience has put you into contact with a lot of other people in the music industry here. What are your hopes for the future now? Um, I really want to put together something of my own. People really, uh, I was supposed to go to the Israeli The Voice con uh, competition, but I'm not really uh, uh, keen on like uh, doing covers and just, uh, just performing for the sake of performing. I want to start creating something. And it's, uh, it's coming together. I mean, I'm starting to put together stuff and, and jamming out with people and, and really starting to work towards some sort of a, of a vision. But um, yeah, it's like I'm doing it day by day. I'm not really, I don't think there's any shortcuts to really uh, creating uh, art. And Absolutely. Well, you know, it seems like this experience in a lot of ways has kind of helped you find yourself more in, oh, in yeah. the music world. And, and so again, Good job. Well, you know, thank you so much for everything that you did. I did what I had to do at the at the situation. It wasn't really. Yeah, <laughs> I just basically acted. Like. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much for having me.